Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. I doubled up on these in between episodes. I also extended uh, the Casimir Crystals, is what these is. And I also extended the Titanium Glass quite a bit. And I set up in preparation for the uh, plane filters, I think they're called. Yeah, plane filters. And uh, we're going to need a lot of plane filters. They take 12 seconds to make. It's insane. They make take 12 seconds to make. So I set up a few machines for making plane filters. Just a tad. This is 120 machines for plane filters, and that's not going to be enough. We're probably going to need three lines at least. But right now, I really just want to get green science going. So we want the gravity matrix here, and for the gravity matrix, we need the quantum chip. And the quantum chip takes processors and plane filters. So once we get the plane filters going, we have the ingredients that we need. Not in the quantities that we want, but we have the ingredients that we need. So let's fire this guy up. We will local demand remote demand, I think. And local demand remote demand. And I guess we'll set it to like 5,000. 5,000 and this will be local supply and remote supply. And here comes the next set of items, and we are producing. And it's reaching down to here so far. So, let's see. It's getting further and further. There to go, not that far. Seems like it's all good. There we go. Everything is producing. Yeah, everything is going. Wonderful. No, nope. you're not going. What's wrong with you? wrong with you. Let's dismantle that. That. There we go. Alright, and we have some plane filters. Nice. Well, let's just grab this titanium glass and throw it there. So yeah, this, these 120 machines produce 10 a second, so we can actually set up two more lines like this and have all of what they make go on to the same output belt, and that will fill it up. That will fill up one output belt. So it's a pretty big build. A pretty big build. But now that we have that going... What's next? I guess we need to set up the quantum ships. So they take two processors and... Two plane filters every six seconds. So that's one every three seconds. Which means that we can do 90 machines. So 
so we do one every second. Or uh, ten every second. Like, so where do we want to do that? Uh, I think here looks like a lovely spot. The problem is the water, but that is a solvable problem. Very solvable problem. That'll do for now. Let's find one of these. Stick it there. And you need plane filters. Processors. Let's do 3,000 of each. And then you need to supply uh, quantum chips. So it was equal amounts that we needed, yep. So let's do plane filters. To processors, and then we'll have a return built there. Well, I think we'll stick 45 on, on each side. How many do we have? Oh, that's 126. That's fine. Three. Uh, let's just see. Yep, we can get them in between. Let's give you a recipe. And we'll paste you here. Okay, so three, six. Nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, okay, twenty-seven. Seven, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Oh, I don't have soil pile. Okay. We're twenty-seven, twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Some trees over here. That should be enough. So we don't actually have space for this. Hmm. So that's 30. Let's just leave it at 30 then. So that will be 60 in that case. I think over in the mass system where we're going to be setting up our Dyson Sphere, I think 
I want to... Well, all over the galaxy, really. Uh, I want to set up factories more or less specialized in like maybe three or four, maybe five different things. And that's it. And then on the next planet, do the same. Because, I mean, we're cramming everything onto this planet, right? And we don't need to. I mean, we have the other planets. We, we can build wherever we want. I do think it looks cool with a planet that is basically one giant factory. But it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way. Okay. Now it's just power and sorters. So I'll get that done and then I'll be back. All right, I have set up all the sorters so they are ready. I also, over here, here, uh, before we only had the one line making the uh, Graviton lenses, now we have them on both sides being made because those are the other ingredient for the green science. Gravity Matrix. Wasn't it Gravity Matrix? Gravity Matrix. So, yeah. So now all we need to do... Um, this is not what we're making. We're making these. I set off this, all the sorters over here. Uh, so now all we need to do is request... These... And these and we need some of these, some of these. And we might not be getting any uh, processors. Yeah, they are coming. Three thousand. Three thousand are on the way. Um, where are they? There they are. The first processors are arriving. And that should mean that we start producing. Oh, yes. There's our first uh, quantum chips. Getting all the way down the line. I hope. Still a ways to go. Should make it all the way down the line. Eventually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Nice! All of them are going. No, none of them have mistakes. Nope. Uh, I actually think I didn't put. Uh, I did put in there. Did I put shuttles in here? No. Let's make sure we do that. Okay. So this is all good. What about for the Casimir crystals that I put in here? I did. All right, so we are making quantum chips. We are making 
uh, graviton lenses, which means that we can make green science, which produces which produces two every twenty four seconds. Holy smokes! That's one every twelve seconds. Okay. So I also just quickly set up a little matrix lag production here so we can grab these hundred matrix labs we're gonna need more than a hundred let's grab all of them and head down south I think is it south that our yeah our science is on the south pole I think I want to also maybe dedicate an entire planet just to science. I think that could be pretty cool. So, that's our researchers. This is our... Let's see, do I have any large storage containers? I do. So we'll start building these here after this bend. We're going to need, uh, what do we have in here? We could actually grab it in here and run it over. I think I'll do that. So we need uh, graviton lenses and quantum chips. And then I'll leave the last one for space warpers, even though I don't think we'll need any. Uh, stick some of those in there as well. We have them, so why not? And we'll do, let's say, 2000 and 2000. Why limit it? I mean, why limit it? Ah, 5000 and 5000. Won't demand it yet. Research. Uh, let's see, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? 12, 13. That's as high as I can go right now, but I know that I can get up to 15 eventually. That's what we're gonna do. So, that's 45. That's 60. Let's do 90. Yeah, 90. That's fine. And then we still have some on us, but that's fine too. That's fine too. Then we'll do a storage here. And we'll do, uh, we'll set you to gravity matrixes. And copy that. Okay, everything is set to gravity matrixes. We need an output. We'll run like this. Okay. I don't know what that solar panel is doing there. How's power looking? Power is looking good. 
probably won't work when we start researching, but we'll see. Okay. So, sorters. Like that. That's all the outputs done. Um, then we also want, I think, one, two, like that. Okay. And then we want an input line and another input line. that and sorters here uh, not like that Let's start from this one to get our items out. So, the Raviton lenses. Let's bring them in here. Like so. And want some chips. So, I need some power for these guys. Everything has power except you. Now you do. And now, all we need to do is say local demand, remote demand, local demand, remote demand. And stuff is being brought in. Oh, they're heading out to pick it up to bring it in. So while they do that, Let's set up some research. And the first thing I want to research is Mecha Core 5. That's for damn sure. Oh, here they come. We are producing green science. Nice. That is so cool. The first tower is to the top. Second tower is to the top. And there goes our first green science. Our very first green science. And I didn't put inserters here. Dang it. Sorters. They're called sorters. And we are sciencing with green science. I love it. And we are all the way to the top in all the green science towers. Woo! That is so awesome. Might actually need more. Is this that looks a little bit pathetic, right? It 
looks a little bit pathetic. Uh, we are researching. So with Mega Core 5, we get an extra 1.6 gigajoules of power. Max core power, which is awesome. Uh, energy circuits. Uh, drone engines. Hmm. I actually think the next thing I want to do is... Queue the universe exploration up. And then I want veins utilization, I think. And then vertical construction. Nah. Logistics carrier engine first. And then logistics carrier capacity. Yeah. Mega Core 6. Whoa. That's the universe cube. That's going to be a while. Inventory capacity. Cue that up, please. Are they getting all the way down now? Not really. We need more. We need more. Do another two towers. Actually, let's just do another four towers. There. Almost done. Uh, let's just let's get rid of cubes that I have. I want that open. Oops. We are almost done, and it's only the top one at the end there that isn't going now. 1.6 gigajoules max energy. Look at that. So much more energy. It's like double. That means that we're going to be able to fly a lot longer. Warp a lot longer. And I like it. What are we researching now? The universe exploration? Noise. some power and power here and say here because then we can stick in the storage bins here Not all researching, but it's coming. I think they weren't all researching because we took out a bit of power and stuff. But we are researching at a decent pace. At a decent pace. I want all of them. 
bombs have cubes. Ah, they will. They will. Why is this up here not researching? Lack of gravity matrix. Come on now. For a second. Let's just see if it gets it at some point. I got one. It's going up now. for gravity matrixes, I think. But for now, they're all going. I think we're going to have a hard time keeping up with the quantum chips. Universe Exploration Level 4. Able to view the Vayner reserves and rare vein details in all planetary systems. Nice. And next is Vayne's utilization. Which is going good as well. And this one is almost at the top now. Third in the row. No, it's at the top. And the last row is getting there. Let's queue up some more research. With that we can't do yet. We've already queued that up. that up. No. Could queue that up. Uh, vertical construction. Queue that up. Uh, inventory capacity is queued up. Communication control. Queue that up. Energy circuit. Queue that up. Okay. I think that's... yeah, Q is full. Cool, cool. And the last one is almost to the top. Get there, please. Is it gonna get there? It will when we have... there we go! It's there. So this can run all of these. That's good to know. But just barely, really. We're starting to queue up on the line now. Back up on the line. Why are you not going? Where are you missing? You're missing those. Don't. Am I not? Uh, well, let's do these and say remote. Demand, local supply, and also local remote storage, like that. Oh, 
Okay. That's 200 of those coming in. Or 10,000, 200. Here they come. And out they go. Reinstitutionalization 5. Nice. We have 3.17 gigajoules of power. Isn't that fantastic? Let's just fill up here. And actually, maybe now that we are researching, uh, I will be able to if I can find the place, which I probably won't be. Um, where the heck is it? I want to get rid of my organic crystals. How is this looking? It's looking good. Where... Where am I making organic crystals? Well, I've been here. I guess it's on the other half of the planet. Maybe. Uh, how is this looking? Uh, we have a lot. Good. Plus 40% logistics room flight speed and 50% logistics vessel navig navigation speed. So the drones are going faster. What's this? Ah, and then uh, it's here somewhere. Ah, we need them. So this is titanium, guys. So yeah, here we go. Get in there. Nice. Casimir crystals are going. man. Titanium glass is going. We're gonna need more of them. The plane filters are going. We're going to need a lot more plane filters. Quantum chips are kind of going. And it's because we are out of processors. So I want to set up a gigantic processor uh, production over on the lava planet. I really, really want to do that. Because if we take a look at processors, these guys take silicon. But other than that, it's just copper and iron. Which we have over there. We have 20 million copper there, 9 million iron. Not so much silicon, but we can get that from over on the ice planet. So I think it would be a good place to build. But let's take a look out, because now we can see far, far away and see... Uh, everything. Ooh, look at that mass! It has fire ice, kimberlite ore, fractal silicon, optical grading crystal, and sulfuric acid ocean, and water ocean. And it has a luminosity of two. This is... This is our spot for our Dyson Sphere. Has to be it's a B-type star. 
Ionized chem black armor, optical grading crystal, sulfuric acid. Take a look at some that are a little bit closer, maybe. Notice fire ice, kimpolite, or fractal silicon and sulfuric acid ocean. Not a bad star either. Theta horology. Oh. Crude oil, fire ice, fractal silicon, organic crystal, spiniform stalagmite crystal. Sulfuric acid ocean and three water oceans. Wow, Theta Horology. You are gonna get a visitor soon. Answer. Not so interesting. Theta Horology. We need to pin that. Let's uh, just head out here. Uh, theta horology. Well, let's. Oh, there was something on the way to 27 Doradas there, and there's something coming back from 27 Doradas. Something going over there. It's going everywhere. It's lovely. Um. So, theta horology was where. There. Uh, kinda in the direction of Tolliman. Okay. So where's Tolliman? Twenty seven Dorados, Mashida. Uh, Tolliman is there. Logistics carrier capacity level seven. Nice. Can't quite find it. Stop. Get away from the gas giant, please. Meta theta horology. There it is. Pin it. 6.83 light years away. You know what? Let's head over there and take a look. Because that is interesting. This data Aquilae. Answer. Man, this game is cool. Can't believe how cool this game is. <laughs> Let's just end the episode with a look at Theta Horology. Let's see what that's all about. Wow. Well, go away. Let's see, are we there? Kinda? Yeah. So we have five planets here. Let's start from the outside, an arid desert. There's a lot of titanium, some, a lot of copper, some stone. Not really that interesting. Number four has fire ice and fractal silicon. It's a ice field jealous hole. 
17 million fire eyes, some fractal silicon, a lot of titanium. Okay. Uh, Theta Horology 3, I guess, is an oceanic jungle with crude oil and organic crystals. A lot of coal. Number two has crude oil, more than 5 million organic crystals, and some spiriform stalagmite crystal, which I don't know what I need for yet. Uh, okay. And then number one has the sulfuric acid ocean. And that's about it. A lot of iron, a lot of copper. Okay. Theta horology is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So, we might set up, set something up over here. But if we do, it will be in another episode, because we are out of time for this one. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.